Booyah. What's up, everybody? Uh, da -da -da. Good morning. How's everybody doing? I don't know about you guys, but it's raining here, so it's a pretty nasty, miserable day. Let me know if you can hear me and everything sounds good, looks good, and we'll uh, get this party started here in a minute. Out of Ren, what's up? So I thought I would bring you guys along since I did last, I think last Sunday, when I uh, did this. Well, this is going to be going with that. So here's the wall that I did yesterday. I actually, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the progression pictures, uh, plain piece of foam, did the lines, the texturing, did the cracks, and then I black washed it last night. So it would be dry this morning. So we could have some fun. Um, I'm excited for this because I really want to use this diorama really quick. <laughs> oh, crack, crash box. No, crash box is in a league. I've actually been doing some um, private messaging with crash box. Uh, super cool guy. I've actually showed him some of my work to uh, see if I'm even remotely going in the direction I need to be going. Uh, he's very positive. He's uh, he's gave me some good feedback. So, but I'm definitely not in that league. Definitely not. Nay, nay, say I. Now, one day, hey, maybe. All right, so, um, you take your phone, which the phone starts out like this, and this is the foam name that you can actually get from Home Depot. Foamular. Uh, but it's pink foam, 24 inches by 24 inches, pre-cut. And uh, then the fun begins. And to do to do the lines on this particular one, I wanted bigger uh, blocks instead of bricks. But this is the the ruler that I use. It actually is a really cool ruler because the darker uh, lines right here are one inch exactly. This is actually a one inch by one inch square. So these blocks are actually two inch. Two inch by two inch squares. So. Oh wow, that's cool, Ren. <laughs> yeah, I'm I I dig I dig dig the work. It's it's just insanely cool. Insanely cool. Uh so the premise by this wall is not a standard um red brick gray nothing uh, i'm actually going with browns so we're doing browns four different layers so we're starting out with uh because when you do the dry brushing you want to do darkest to lightest uh so i'm starting out with just a a regular brown and, and don't don't spend a ton of money on paint this is from michael's at 70 cents a bottle you don't need to spend three dollars a tube for paint so we're going to start with brown and the next layer will be more than likely I, and, and again it's all once you start i might not use all four uh, but then we got a dark taupe then we have a tan and then we have a light tan or a light taupe I think that's actually backwards yeah boom sorry so that's basically the four colors that I'm primarily gonna be using for this particular wall um, Funko Biggie it's for a series of uh, action figures that I want to photograph and I just like I said the, the wall 
Let me see if I can give you a slight perspective. So, we got this. And this is going to be the back wall. Whoops, sorry, you can't hear me. So, this will be the back wall, and it'll be browns and tans and sort of like, a, I guess, Mayan ish, maybe. Ancient. I don't know. But, but yeah, this is. <laughs> And it might be overkill, but this is the way my brain works. Uh, ooh, Realm of Collectors. I would check that out. Uh, but yeah, it's um, when I get a idea in my head for photographs, I like building this, these to go with it. And it's probably really overkill, but hey, you know what? I want I just want things to look good and you know that's just the way my brain works <laughs> well you know open it up if that's what you if that's what you want to do brother that's right I'm breaking out the rubber gloves or the latex gloves I learned, I learned a lot. I should have had these when I was gluing that grass down. But I didn't. Dio structure, I'm actually a part of. I'm a part of that group. <laughs> There's some amazingly talented people. Man. It's, it's insane how much talent there is. In, I mean, from the photography point of it from the dio point of it and i love dios I, I have stuff from extreme sets i have some dios that i've bought um but this gives me that's true ren they get serious and these aren't just regular gloves these are mechanic gloves yes um i just feel, i don't know i just feel like it's it's just cool to actually build something you know the crazy thing about it is I probably before I put my gloves on probably should have took this little little uh, plastic sealer paper off because there's no way I'm gonna get that off of this always shake your paint but that's why you have an exacto knife right that way you can just cut it right off and I'm starting to get a pretty good stop file of paint, which is cool. <laughs> Jed is cooking bacon. I saw something on Instagram where he's cooking bacon. He's cooking bacon. All right. Apple Barn? No, these are actually Craft Smart from Michaels. 70 cents a bottle. Yes, it is acrylic. All right, so with dry brushing, it's actually dry brushing is relatively easy. You basically need paint, need some paper, and I use a paper plate. I do have some of these things, but to be honest with you, uh, I like these things, but I use them primarily for water to clean my brushes off with. All right little bit of brown and a brush I'm not a big coffee drinker I'm not and basically since I have a large area to cover um, I'm not gonna take a bunch of this paint off but basically you don't want to coat the whole the whole brush and don't buy crazy expensive brushes either. I think this brush, I mean, you can see it. It's, it's, it's been well used. Well used. And basically, you just start, start brushing. The, the black 
is what's cool about the black and the reason why you do the black wash it gives you a lot of good contrast this is gonna sound really weird And another cool thing about dry brushing too is the paint actually dries pretty quick. Not like if you're actually, you know, painting. <laughs> and I've got a fan running right there, which is blowing air across here, so that's going to expedite, expedite the process. And usually, I try to uh, go through and just, you know, do a light coat. There's, there's all kinds of techniques for doing this. Some people do it this way. Some people do it this way. true um I, i've got the foam ones the thing I, I like about the foam ones i like using a combination but if i'm not a hundred percent sure um what my brain is thinking i like using the bristles because they're a little bit more forgiving than the foam for me they are anyway for me I love this. This is so much fun. You know, like I said, I, I don't know what you guys, I don't know if this is going to be a huge entertainment factor for you guys, but I figured, hey, I'm going to be up here doing this. Why not, right? Why not do a live stream? Oh, yeah, I had to, I had to, wear, the, I had to wear the flash shirt today. <laughs> And another thing cool too is the the only thing that really uses a ton of paint is when you dry, uh, do the black wash. Um, black washing does take quite a bit of paint. I actually used one and a half tubes of this um, last night. So I got like, I don't know, a dollar, dollar twenty in paint. And basically, just really good quick strokes. When I start running, when the brush starts running a little bit low, that's when you'll see me start. I'll dab it in a little bit of an area. Chris, I think I follow you, brother. I will double check, but I think I do. If I don't, I will. Oh, and um, what I do with it? Oh, I threw it away. So the texturing, I'm, I'll show you this here in a minute. Once I get this next, once I get this first coat on, I'll show you something. Because I actually, um, I've been asked this before, so. And it's all about layers. It's all about layers. All right, so there you go. Layer number one, but we're nowhere near done. Also, uh, paper towels and keep a trash bag handy. Uh, so I've been asked before um, how I actually do the texturing. And I have this rock. I actually broke the rock last night. A rock and a rubber mallet does that. And for the, the cracks, 
I used this. I used a saw. That's what I used for that. Dude, Ren, that would be cool. Tatooine, yes, that would be really cool. Do it! Do it! Do it! So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on like probably two rows of brick at one time now as I come down. Strawberry for photography. I started back in 2000. Um, I think 2006 ish. Uh, my daughter was in high school. She was in marching band. I did not want to be the typical band dad with a video camera. So I bought a, uh, a camera system, lenses, everything and uh, started doing photo photos of her in marching band. And then it just led from that. Uh, Dio building, I just recently started. And it's because of action figures and phot photographing those. Um, and it's just, this is literally, so I've built one, two, this is my fourth Dio. Um, the Winter Wild one is still downstairs being worked on. Um, and I done my castle one. And now this one. Oh, I done the one for the Christmas cards too. Marching band is awesome, dude. I love being a band dad. It was awesome. I loved it. Do you little dabble? Do you? And like I said, this is all about your perspective, your eye, what what you like. But but again, the reason why the black wash comes in is because the paint and all the texturing is still going to leave the the black, which is in the crevices and things like that, which is really cool. But this is something cool to do on a rainy day. I mean, you know, if you're not out hunting or anything like that, then man, just get out and build something. Have some fun with your figures and your pops. Strawberry, I have found that life is, life is way too short and if we limit ourselves, then we're only hurting ourselves. So why limit? Right? Why limit? There's a lot of things that I I try to do and learn how to do and some of them I'm good at, some of them I'm not. So hey. You can't be good at everything, but at least you can try everything. That's sort of the way I look at it life in general you know I'm definitely not I don't I don't consider myself a great youtuber but you know what I'm trying and that's all that matters I'm making it muddy muddy waters Bass player pops. That's interesting. Bass player. Like musical bass players. That's 
That's very interesting. And as you as you as you can tell, I'm not really waiting in between um, the coats because it's going on so thin and dry that it dries relatively quick. I have not done the uh, magnets yet. Uh, I do have the holes cut for the magnets. I always wait till I'm done with this part before I put the magnets in. That's just me. I think most people actually put the magnets in before they do the painting. But sometimes I'm a sloppy painter. <laughs> Gene Simmons is, yeah. I think I'm still officially a member of the KISS Army. You know what's weird about doing this is, or, or my biggest problem is knowing when to stop. That's my biggest thing. But I usually get a pretty good idea the more I go. But I got a video that's going to be uh, I think I'm gonna shoot it today um, That is going to put a perspective on this dio I think man, I got a weird beard hair going on right here. Wow look at that thing. It's just wild crazy hair Good morning Steve The Wally man a tabletop war game. Ooh, tabletop war game. That's an interesting concept. My uh, my brothers used to be really big into uh, the tabletop games. Had my hammer in my bag. You do go through a lot of paper. Just saying. You will go through a lot of paper towels. A uh, white, a light gray wash. Um, actually, if I remember correctly, um, no, I've not tried that. But I was, I thought about doing that for my winter wall diorama. But then I thought the gray would be not dark enough. To uh, bring out the accents but I have been thinking that a gray wash would look good for a red brick possibly it's trial and error now I will tell you this like take this foam here go buy you some and cut some some small squares and this is when I first started doing it um, I done like three or four I think um, maybe four inch by four inch squares done my brick pattern and practiced the drop the, the brushing and everything sizzle i am up every day between 3 and 3 30 a.m every day i am weird like that Yeah, there's a lot of dio builders out there that do this dry brushing stuff. They've done it so long. I basically take it a lot longer than it probably should take. But that's just me. Because I want the darkness of this to be sort of what's in my brain. My brain. Uh, yeah, there's the, there's a ton of board games. There's actually uh, in my mall. There's a comic book store. Um, that's all they do is uh, uh, board games and comic books. 
they set up out in the middle of the mall and I'm impressed by the uh, by the amount of detail and things that they do <laughs> well the way I the way I look at it Mary is so I usually go to bed between I don't know it, it varies but you know between 8 30 9 30 um, I just like getting up early um, sort of helps me prepare for the day and if I stay up late then I wind up m m missing my day but there's some people that's 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 just the way they are and that's great I think So I'm leaning towards this darkness tone here, maybe a tad bit darker, but you can sort of see now how the, the browns are coming out. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not being too aggressive with it. And the guys that's been doing this for like years, man, they just go crazy and they're done. And I'm like, wow. But that's experience, that's practice, that's talent. That's what that is, period. Hands down. True that. <laughs> Sizzle, you are absolutely right. The marine life has stuck with me since, since I went into boot camp. It will never leave me, ever. Period. It's a chapter of my life that I am grateful for. Hugely grateful for. Uh, I used to stay up late a lot, but then I got to realizing that I was staying up late, but then I was like, I wound up sleeping late and. You know, and to me, even even eight nine o'clock is late for me because, like I said, I was at the grocery store at six a.m. when it opened up. I've already been to Walmart. I mean, here it is, ten o'clock, and I'm officially done for the day. Other than what I want to do, I have my whole day, whole day ahead of me. So it's a win-win for me. The blink, the blink 182 pops—they actually look really good. I used, to, I used to, I used to listen to some Blink 182. I'm, I'm not much of a music listener anymore. I'm more um, talk radio. I'm a huge. I mean, Howard Stern. I listen to Howard Stern every day. Can't help it. Kim, no, there is no red going on this wall. Uh, this wall is it's foresty, it's um, jungly, it's and I'll, I'll I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Um, there will be some lighter colors put in, uh, possibly some whites. I know when I did my gray wall, my brick wall, I actually did highlight the the cracks and stuff with with white. But let me get this last little section here done and I'll show you Give it a good overall brushing. And I always suggest, you know, to take a step back and sort of look at it. I mean, right now I'm pretty happy with the, I'm pretty happy with the overall evenness of it. But I got a little bit more paint, so I don't want to waste the paint. So let's put some more on it. Let's put some mole. Let's put some mole on it. Let's 
give it a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Little bit more. And the thing about it is, because like I said, you're going from dark to, to lightest. So you have to be, you have to be pretty much 100% sure, you know, before you go to that next color that you're happy. Now, I've made that mistake before and I've went back and you can fix it to a certain degree but you definitely want to be as close as possible and I'll be honest with you that's that's where I struggle sometimes is you know do I keep going or do I stop <laughs> So, and I'll give you an update too. If you guys watch my uh, Walmart video where they, I got my Captain Marvels and they were uh, crushed, I'll give you an update on that because I'm pretty stoked. In other words, I got some good news I'm pretty happy with. So, all right, we're almost done. Let me do one more. I'll show you I'm just doing some just overall I'm not done I don't think I'm quite done with this brown yet but we're gonna let this dry a little bit so there's where we're at right now right there so we went from black probably gonna put some more of the dark brown on it especially up in this area here and like I said it's all about perspective it's all about I don't know what you're feeling what you're feeling um, so um, so what I did was I took my uh, I got my Captain Marvel pops in um, let me make sure yeah and there's one of them it was dented in real bad both sides they actually had the Walmart sticker over the glow in the dark sticker um, just not not really satisfied with it so I went online um, started the return process uh, told them they were damaged blah 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 they issued me a refund and said hey keep the pops throw them away donate them whatever but keep them so I've got these two Captain Marvel pops and uh, now I've got one I can take out of box which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it matter of fact the diorama inner pop so the diorama is going to be for some uh, legends that will make sense um, when you see the video on the uh, legends so here's what I'm gonna do with one of the Captain Marvel pops I got this ideal from Nia with Shumi Shumi toys uh, Shumi store if you haven't went to Shumi you need to go to Shumi you need to buy some pops because he's got some awesome pops and uh, use toy table and you get you 10% off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her out and, and like I said this is such a good idea that Nia had such a good idea I mean it is an amazing idea. it's just another cool way to display pops I actually have a uh, a venomized ghost rider that I done this way and I actually have lights in it. So what I'm thinking about doing with the, that, that box there that has the stickers messed up, I might actually take those stickers off and put them on this protector. I don't know yet. I haven't quite figured that out yet. 
inner pop Ren he might be wrong you know he he yeah he might think he's right but he might be wrong you never know all right let's get this off but yeah this is such a unique way of displaying pops hey Kent pulls in welcome Kent pull so if you got one that's got a jacked up box get a shumi saw protector put it in it and like I said I'm, I'm probably going to heat these stickers off and put them on the saw protector so I don't know but that is such a neat way oh I forgot something I forgot something I forgot something no I, I've not done this yet this is the first time of doing this but I thought about it the other day and I was wondering how it would look so now there you go I'm telling you guys if you've got pops that you really really want but the boxes are so jacked up just get a shimmy saw protector put the little backdrop behind it and throw it in there look at that that looks cool you know nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all it's just another unique way and besides they didn't want the pops back at Walmart so uh, I'm gonna find something to do with them right and plus what I'm gonna do with this one since this one has such a great glow is uh, I'm gonna get my little light here and I'm curious to see how it would glow inside of here so I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with that one hey I it's it surprised me when uh, when like I said uh, my, my buddy Matthias was telling me about it um, just you know go go to walk to go online and they'll either send you a shipping label or they'll tell you to keep them and they told me to keep them Harold Green what's up my friend putting on the rubber gloves again we're painting we're painting I'm hoping that they'll glow really good because what I what I might do is I might try to f find me some uh, black light LEDs and maybe try to do something on the box I don't know yet but hey it's something right it's something to do different inner pop I have uh, I saw Big Bad Toy Store. Big Bad Toy Store had it for pre-order. My GameStop has it pre-ordered, so I pre-ordered it through them. Because my buddy Drew, he's really good to me. And Hannah, my other games. I have two GameStops here in town, and Drew and Hannah both are awesome. I love them both. Uh, the inner pop the chromes look good if you do them that way they really do so I'm gonna add another coat of brown but this time I'm gonna go a little heavier on some of them I want to really darken this thing up a little bit before I go to another color So basically, I'm just trying to work more individually bricks now. Well, not like three or four of them at a time. But I, I tell you, everybody needs to try to build a diorama at least once. Have some fun with it. Even if you don't want to, here's the thing. You can just build a wall, use it as a backdrop, you know? Now, I will tell you this, it takes time. 
it's not something that you know like I said it took me three hours a little over three hours to cut the foam do the lines cut the lines do the cracks black wash it everything it's about three and a half hours and I'm almost an hour in right now on this part of it um, I fully expect you know this to take a big not a big chunk of the day but it's gonna take a little while so don't 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 expect to have it done like in an hour <laughs> inner pop I'm thinking about possibly getting them both um, I don't you know I mean the black series it's 30 like 32 34 bucks something like that I mean it's but I'm just I'm really curious to see what it looks like I think it look I think it's gonna look cool um okay hang on one minute sizzle and we'll uh I'll, I'll talk about that so basically in a nutshell the uh, the bricks I use a ruler that I picked up at Hobby Lobby uh, you need a, a lot of people use pencils I have found um, I have a work pen I don't know what I did with it it's somewhere around here oh there it is uh, this work pen works really good for what I want to do Oh yes, Harold, yes. Do it. And here's the here's the beauty about this diorama, right? So all the dioramas that I build are multifunctional. And what I mean by that is they can be used they can be used for pops, six inch. Um, I have my, my castle diorama. It's uh, it's big enough to use for my SH figure arts. Um, Ed, no, I did not. The Michael Jordan pop was not in my state, according to Foot Locker. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I would have to drive all the way to Atlanta in hopes of getting it and. I just didn't see that pop worth, you know, three hours drive. That's just me. I don't mind driving for, for things, but uh, I know that my Foot Locker here, when they release new shoes, it's insane just to get into it. I can't even comprehend um for the pop and especially in Atlanta such a huge city I mean you got like 7 million people <laughs> that's a lot of people okay so here's what I use this is the ruler that I use for all my dio builds it's uh, 2 inches each one of these squares is an inch square. Each one of these dark lines, which I know is really hard to see, but the, the heavier lines, those are all um, one inch. So this one here is done two inch by two inch. Yeah, sizzle. I mean, it's, uh, you know, um, they was, so they was uh, I think Kent Pool, I think Jetta, they, uh, they were able to grab one yesterday, which is awesome. Um, but that, that it is what it is and you know I would have had a at least a six hour day invested and I would have missed out on so much more that was more important than you know the pop in my opinion anyway But I do want it though. I do want it, so I'm just gonna order. I'm just gonna order mine from Shumi. Uh, they've got that up. They got it up for pre-order right now, so I'm just gonna get mine from Nia. 
And when it gets here, it gets here. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I know that um, I was talking to my buddy, Matthias. Um, and so the way uh, Foot Locker and Pops and stuff work, uh, like the LeBron James, we didn't get that one either. And it's based on the stores of volume. How much volume do they sell tennis shoe wise? So, it makes sense. It might be. Well, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at it here on my laptop. It doesn't seem to be buffering on my end, so I try to keep it actually going so I can actually see it at the same time. Next hot toy, uh, Jake. My next hot toy I already have pre-ordered. It's the um, uh, Solo uh, Mud Trooper. That is my next one. And then I'm probably gonna go ahead and order the Deathstroke one. So I'm really digging on the Deathstroke one too. Nice. Yeah, like I said, I've got it playing over here on my laptop just to just to see our my internet went out last night uh, because I guess because of the rain. So. Internet and live streams are like chases. It's a shot of dark whether you get it or not. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind me taking my time with this. Like I said, I'm in not no big hurry. I just just going along. Just going along and having some fun, hanging out with you guys. Hanging out. And this is something I'm going to start doing more of as well. Because um, I did get some good feedback from, from some folks that enjoyed this. So uh, I'm definitely going to be doing more stuff like this. And, and I I would have done this at the depot when I did the um, um, trippy. You got your first one on. Sweet. Interpop, that's true, man. When you don't, uh, thanks, Harold. I appreciate that. Uh, having a job. Um, I know one of the things that me and Kent and uh, Jetta was talking about that I really bought into it. I'm a hundred percent committed to it. I know that um, we all have we all have tons of toys and tons of stuff like that so i'm actually going to start doing videos on stuff that i have already picked up that i picked up either on a clearance or just you know on a road trip a work trip or whatever that I never really got around to making a video on and i never even unboxed them um i know when toys r us was closing uh you know we all took advantage of toys r us going out of business and I bought some awesome NECA figures um, that are just, they're, they're beautiful figures. And they're movie based, but the movie is come and gone. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an unboxing video on those because they're just really cool. And I love NECA figures. It's sort of like that T-800. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's an old movie. But hey, it was at Target. And uh, it's a cool figure. And Kent needed weapons for his Deadpool. If you guys have not seen what he's done with his Deadpool, <laughs> I don't know how many more weapons he can get on that Deadpool. <laughs> I'm just saying, Kent, how many weapons? If you're, if you, I know if you're still here, how many weapons do you officially have on that Deadpool? I'm saying like at least fifteen. It's in, it is it is awesome looking. I love what he's done with it. I 
another thing is uh, see you pop another thing when you wear gloves because a lot of times you can come in with your fingers and you can do some fine touching um, but yeah rubber gloves I think we're almost done with this dark brown I think we're almost done nerdy boy what's up Mary yes yes that would be awesome Mary that would be, I would love to see that it's sort of like my pop spotlight which um, I need to do another video on that but I've got four pops sitting over there that I truly love and I'm not seeing anybody do any kind of review on them and that's gonna be my next uh, pop spotlight um, but yes personal opinions on toys and pops I think are great Caesar man NECA NECA is the way to go yes Ren I mean here's here's the thing you know um, and I've said this multiple times the stuff I buy I buy based on what I'm wanting to photograph with them and that's just me though call me weird call me whatever <laughs> just don't call me Shirley oh Mary that is so kind of you that is so kind of you I like, I like Matthew as well there's so many good content people out there and just genuine awesome people I get so inspired by this community every day whenever I'm having a bad day at work I man I just fire up a YouTube video my favorite Funko Pop holy butt crackers probably my, my Nux card is my favorite because um, that was my SDCC grail that I was unable to get and I had like three people step up and get that for me and that's that's my favorite but I have my shelf over here where I've had people send me pops you know Ken has sent me pops and Jetta and Christina and Lady Funko I mean all those pops are over on my special shelf and Oh, okay. Uh, hang on a minute, Harold. And I will show you. I'll give you a little... I'll give you, I'll give you a tip. And we can let this dry a little bit. So, I think we're at the final coat of brown. I think I'm pretty happy with it overall. I think. I might put... I don't know. I might. Alright. So, how to attach... What I do with them? What I do with them? Hello, where'd you go? Hmm. Where did you go? Oh, here you are. All right. So these bad boys right here. these magnets you can get these at Michaels they're really really cheap uh, I do not have any Duck Dynasty pops uh, so basically in a nutshell I put three magnets in these holes right here that I cut out on this having a I still got to glue them in and uh, I'll put three on the base and so that way when it Boom, snaps into place and I'll give you a little tip on these magnets it's I my first one I did I did it so hard it was so so hard I felt like an idiot when I ran across this so let's say for instance this is your base and you're gonna attach this to the base well basically in a nutshell what you do let me uh, find a little, you know what, hang on a minute. I'm going to put that right there for now. We're going to make this real easy. Put 
that there, that there. All right. So basically you'll take this before you ever do any painting or anything like that. And we just make a little mark there. Let me get my 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 rule my rule J my ruler. Okay, so this is the easy way to do it. So you, you make your you make your mark here, which is basically the width of the piece that's going to be your back, right? Boom, like that. So then what I do is I lay the magnets out where I want them, and I press it, which makes that indention right then i put it up on its edge line the magnet up flush with the top here and squeeze down which puts that indention right there take my trusty box cutter and go around the circle it made and you don't have to go real deep you know how thick the the magnet is but you want to go deep enough okay so then you score the hole Hey Fernando, then you come back here and where that line was, the bottom of that line, you basically do a plunge and you keep plunging it till you go past the circle or the edges of the circle. Then you come over here and take your X-Acto knife and just sort of work it. Sometimes it comes out clean, sometimes it don't. Go through and make sure you got your uh, your plunge cuts deep enough. Yeah, when I first, the very first one of these I did, and voila. Now you got a hole, take some hot glue, Put it in the hole and voila there's a magnet boom that easy so that's how you actually cut the uh the hole for the uh for the magnets and what i typically do is i will take my base i'll plunge one in the base then i'll put another one on top of it so i get it stacked like that and then I'll take my my back wall piece and, whoop, and that makes the indentions that perfectly match the back wall there you go magnet 101 when I first did it man I bought I bought like a, a spade bit I, it was it was crazy how complicated I made it then I ran across a video and it, it dude did that and I was like well that was smart <laughs> that was a smart way of doing it yeah that's the thing little little aqua because i'm done i think i think i'm pretty much done with the with the brown i think i'm done with it only time will tell. <laughs> Correct.
Courageous Toys. Uh, sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. I always clean your brushes. Trust me. Clean them. They don't have to be perfectly clean for this type of work, but clean them. All right. So, now, let's... Um, done with that plate trash can so now we can sort of get bring this back out and we can sort of get a oh yeah yeah that's looking good what do you guys think yay nay Greg go back to your day job <laughs> <laughs> and just so you guys know there will be um, I don't know if I'll do a live stream on this part thanks Ren um, I might I don't know um, but there will be stuff attached to this I went to Michael's yesterday and they actually had some this stuff 50% off this uh, moss so I am going to be attaching some moss to this thank you contagious thank you so much thanks everybody um, so there will be there will be oh I can't remember who it was in the live stream when I was at the depot told me to go get a tree or go get some tree limbs check this out this comes with a stick. <laughs> There's a stick in it. <laughs> so, all right. So, let's go to the next color. So, we got dark taupe. All right. I'm trying to think. I need to see what this looks like out of the bottle. Yeah, do it. Make one. Guys, air an opportunity. There went the air. So make one. I mean, you're going to mess up. I mean, let's just let's be honest about it. You're, but the mess up isn't that bad. It's not nothing crazy that's why when you buy foam buy some foam and make you some 12 or 12 some four by four squares you know five by five six by six whatever do your brick patterns on it and and if you get one of these rulers here uh the brick patterns are really easy um to give you an example if you want to i will show you really really quick how easy it is to do brick Cause I'm in, I'm in this thing for a while. So, so basically in a nutshell, get my ruler. So I'm going to do these same size patterns here is what I'm going to do. Where did my good, there it is. I'm going to sit that right there. All right. So flush it up. First things is first. You gotta draw your uh, your horizontals, horizontal lines. That's the first thing. You can't you can't do verticals without the horizontals. All right. Once you get the horizontals drawn, you won't be able to see that because it's really light with this pen. Once you get the horizontals drawn, then you have to think about what size brick you want. Do you want a standard brick or do you want these like blocks? I went more for the block uh, because I wanted to be bigger. So we'll, we'll concentrate on that. So I know your blocks are staggered and I know I went two inches is how I want the, the overall length of the block to be. So the very bottom run I do a one inch line 
and I do a two inch line and once you get the first one it's easy once you get the first series done it's easy so right there you there's there's four lines right in here all right so now I know that you're going to skip a run and that and in bricks that's what it's called it's called runs so each layer of brick is called a run so you got your first run is one inch so I take the darker line, line it up on my horizontal line, and I know that I'm gonna have two runs that are gonna start one inch out. So now you make those two lines. Let me darken those up a little bit. Let me dark them up a little bit. I'm failing you guys, they need to be darker. The only reason I don't like using the magic marker for this is I don't have a fine tipped one. I did have a fine tipped one, but it's not fine tipped no more. Because I unfined it. <laughs> but this is just for information, so it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Get this other horizontal line and get the last horizontal all right so there you go there's your horizontal lines this is your first run which is one inch off this runs one inch off now you make your two inch block and the two inch block is even easier this line is going to mess people up but i already drew on it so i'm going to draw on it again all right so now we do our two inch one So once, once you get to this point here, it is downhill. It is just repeat. That's all it is, is repeat. So you take your cool little ruler that has the one inch and two inch marks, you butt it up. You know the one inch, now it's gonna have a two inch. So you make a line. And make a line. And draw and voila there you go that's the beginnings that's seriously it I overthought this way too much in the beginning and then I stumbled across a really cool uh, it might have been crash box and it just made sense now once you get the lines drawn once again you Come over and you're gonna do your horizontal lines first. Take your exacto knife. Don't plunge it in all the way when you first do it. I usually make about two strokes. I make a light stroke, and you always want to use a metal ruler for this. Don't use don't use a, a plastic one because the knife will cut into it. And I usually take these down to the full edge of the blade. So we'll come up and do this one. I'm not gonna do them all, but I'll show you the premise. And here's the thing, let's say for instance, your knife goes off track and I actually have I had a piece on this one. It went off track because I got in a hurry and I wasn't thinking but that's a crack now you can make a crack so now i'm gonna do these vertic verticular ones and once you get this part done um 
this is this to be honest with you this is the most time consuming out of it all right one more and then we'll do the other part okay always put your cap back on your blade now again you can use a number two pen pencil but this particular pen here works great for it so this is what i use so basically coming back to the horizontal plunge it into the uh the knife cut plunge it in and drag it i drag three times each way then i'll come back and then repeat do all the horizontal ones first. And what this is doing, it's setting the it's setting the crack. Now do the verticals. I only did that one twice. I know I only did it twice. I'm only going to do all of these twice. And voila. Now you got a brick pattern. Right there. I mean, it's... Um, Crashbox Customs, uh, he actually has a, uh, a, a tool that he's experimenting with, which is awesome. Um, but, um, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with this other color because I'm not 100% sure I'm convinced on it yet. Because what I thought to me this looks almost possibly too dark, possibly, and I don't know if I want to do that or not. And I think I'm I think I'm actually not I think I'm not going to use it. CNC machine, that is correct. X Force, I think, or X Carve, I think's what it's called. You know, if you got a couple of grand laying around, uh, it's a nice little machine. Uh, I used to run a CNC machine, so it really intrigued me a lot when I when I saw that. All right, so I don't like that. I might use that for an accent color. I might, I might, I might. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is, you know, like I said, I figured I was going to be up here uh, doing this. So I might as well try to get some company while I'm doing it, right? It's always good to have company. Let's see uh, which brush I want to use. Might use that one. Oh, it's Mary's skin coloring. Skin coloring. That's a whole nother beast right there. That's a flesh tones. Wow. They're uh, that's a whole nother thing. All right, let's see what we can get coming up here. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to look the way I want it to look. And usually when I start going with a lighter color, I really do lighter strokes. A lot lighter strokes. I actually thought about putting a little bit of green in this too. I haven't decided on that yet. Haven't decided. And once everything dries too, it's going to look a little different as well. So.
all about layering. One thing about being doing this live, if I screw up, you guys will see me screw up. And you'll s <laughs> but no, no, what happened? Why did it do that? J Josh Pence, what's up, man? We're we're painting dios, man. We're just hanging out on this rainy day and we're taking bets on whether or not I mess this this wall up that I worked like three hours on last night. <laughs> we could do a we could do a uh will will greg mess up pool jetta if you're still in here how was the bacon this morning i saw your instagram man it looked yummy that is true failure is the only way to succeed it's actually uh not gray it is actually um light taupe it is light taupe And once it dries, it'll actually not be as bright. And this is the thing you gotta be careful about with the lighter colors, is sometimes you'll look at it and be like, oh wow, that is like really too white or light. But when it dries, it darkens up. So when you do the lighter colors, you can't, I don't think you can be as aggressive as you can with the darker colors. Bob Ross, man. Bob Ross, man, uh-uh. Bob Ross was in a category all his own. I would have loved to see Bob Ross do a Dio. I mean, that would be... I think that would be amazing. I can't lie, I used to watch Bob Ross. Years ago, I actually used to, to draw a lot. And... Life got in the way. And uh, I know that's a pitiful excuse, but I, I quit. And I'm telling you right now, the old adage, you know, if you if you quit doing something, you'll forget it. You do. I'm a little bit more particular. Like I said, I'm, if you notice, I'm not doing the big broad strokes that I was when I was doing the dark because I really don't want to get this too 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 much oh he is straight up alright so there's that layer which alright it's getting there it's getting there and like I, what I said before that you can't come back with the brown or the darkers, you can come back with the darkers in certain aspects. So just not, you don't want to make it a habit. You want it to be as the dark, darkest that it, you want it before you start doing the, the lighter colors. Oh yeah, Thomas Kincaid. Thomas Kincaid, Kincaid. Kincaid is big in the South, I think. Especially in Tennessee, you see a lot of Kincaid stuff. Guys, I'm getting really excited for this. I'm just telling you, I'm getting... Starting to feel it. Starting to feel it. Thanks, Mary. Really light, light, light strokes. But I think the thing about this, what's cool about it is it's just another, another aspect that we can do and have fun with what we do, especially when the weather is bad 
and we can't get out build you a dio and photograph your figures or your pops or whatever indoors i mean because i know I, I was actually looking uh, i think it's toy bills yesterday posted a picture he took his snow troopers out because they got snow in ohio perfect scenario trippy i'm gonna do more man i'm gonna do more um because I enjoy doing this. I mean, I don't expect tons of people to uh, hang around while I do this, but I just I just want people to see another aspect. You know, because like when I take when I do take the photos of this and throw them out on Instagram or whatever, people's going to ask, you know, about the backdrop and this and that. Well, now you're actually seeing the backdrop being built. You saw me do the grass. Now you're saying you're going to see parts of the wall. Um, so it just gives you a little bit more insight, I think. There's also, um, let me show you this real quick. These project block bricks you can get these at a uh, Hobby Lobby these things are awesome I've used these um, I use I've actually used these in my winter wall build that I'm working on but they're bricks and the beauty of these is you can take a, uh, a toothpick put a toothpick in them dip them in paint and you can paint them or you can uh, take your, uh, you know, toothpick and hold them. Kim, thank you so much. Yeah, we've got one more layer to go on it. But let's look here. Uh, someone reached out to me about these and, and actually told me the idea about dipping them Which is actually a pretty good idea But yeah, you can actually take these and paint them red gray black whatever whatever color you want and So we got unpainted and painted right there so and these are really neat. They, they hot glue good together. You can make some really cool block walls. Um, there's, uh, I can't remember how many's in the box. Oh, there's 285 of these in the box and they're like 14 bucks. Brandon, whatever camera you have in your pocket is the best camera you can have. I've seen some amazing photos on Instagram and it's iPhones, it's cell phones. So you don't you don't have to have a big expensive rig to take some good photos. You really don't. Use what you got, my friend. Use what you got. Let me see what this other color looks like. Mary, yes, you need to do a video. Yes. Oh, Mary, an Android. What? Droid. Droid. <laughs> uh, the foam, Ray, uh, the foam is literally, it's called foam, foamular. It's at Home Depot. It's like five something a sheet for 24 by 24. Medic, what's up? I didn't even, I didn't even see you come in. Apologies for that. What I do with my sticker? There's my sticker. 
Um, but me personally, uh, like a lot of these dios, I'll I'll take over to the the depot and photograph them there. Get off! Get off! You see that piece of paper? It tried to attack me. I understand, Mary. I understand. All right, so I'm curious. I'm not going to throw that plate away yet. I want to see what this looks like. Oops. Well, I'm glad you snuck in. Shake, shake, shake your paint up. I'm hoping... I'm curious. I'm hoping that this isn't. I'm hoping it's light enough. It might not be. This is the problem you run into with paints. When you look at them on the bottle, sometimes they're not as light as you want them to be. So you might have to uh, make some adjustments. what I'm doing with this one not really I just want to like hit it okay so it is a little lighter okay cool I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Even though it's it's really close though. You know what? That is really close. That's crazy. How tan and light taupe. I mean, those are two totally different colors in the bottles. But man, they are close. I might have to drop some white in there. That's what it's all about. Tips tips and having fun having fun so what I'm doing now is just using the, the, the bristles and just tapping each brick because I don't want to really brush this part That makes sense. Thanks, Tatcha. I'm trying. I'm trying. Once it completely dries, it will it will look different. I do know that. Abstracting, we're abstracting the wall. I bet that sounds good on a microphone. Seamus, what's up? We're we're painting. We're painting a diorama wall, or we're attempting to. And I might actually might actually do some more of this too. hardest part is like when you want it to look realistic <laughs> to me it is I went look, went outside and looked at the brick on my house and realized that all brick aren't the same color and I should have known that so when I did my red brick wall it was they were all the same color and that's where something like this would come in handy But the goal is, 
Okay, so I see black, I see the dark brown, I see the taupe, light taupe, and I see the tan. So I'm seeing all the colors right now. I'm seeing them. But, what do you guys think? Be honest. If you think it sucks, you tell me it sucks. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I might cry behind here, but not on camera. Bob, no, you do not want to see me in a fro. <laughs> you definitely don't want to see that. Thanks, Ren. You definitely do not want to see that. I am going to try something, though. Oh, this is, I don't know. You don't see the mud. There ain't no, well, technically it's more dirt, dirty, not muddy, I guess. So I made some um, cold brew tea this morning. And I'm telling you right now, that's next level right there. So what I'm thinking about doing is since this dark taupe was a little darker, I think I am gonna try that. Okay, I really, okay, so we got the hand over the face. Noble, you got me on the emojis. <laughs> you, you got me on the emoji. I'm, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where'd it go, 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 there we go. Um, going to do a little, a 3D pen, 3D pen. Might have to explain that one to me. A 3D pen for this. Oh, there we go. Back here. Oh, you know what? That warm gray might work. So what I did, I mixed some of the dark taupe with the, uh, so I mixed some dark taupe and light taupe together. I'm curious, because what I want to do I want to see something here. This is what I was talking about earlier. Um, as far as, you know, making mistakes or whatever. Seven or eight different shades. Yes, Chris, you're absolutely, that's where I made my mistake when I first did my first brick wall. So what I want to do is I'm just checking to see this color difference. Basically just maybe a little punch, a little punch here and there. Maybe. We're going to see. Just picking some spots. Maybe a little bit down in these cracks. Give it a little bit of character. Here's the thing. You got to know when to say when. You got to know when. And we're about at that point. Because I want this to completely dry. So, boom. You know what we're going to do? I'm saying when. I'm saying win right now. I'm saying win. Because I do want this to completely dry. I want it to, everything to just settle. Yes, Joan, exactly. Right, Google, yeah, 3D pens. I'm just trying to understand the concept of a 3D pen 
with a physical foam diorama. This is my lost look. <laughs> but what we're going to do, I am going to show you some of this before we uh, put an end to this because I definitely know you guys have better things to do. I can't believe there's still like 30 something people in here watching this. That's crazy. I appreciate it. I really do. But I wanted to take a look at this. I so wanted to open this up in the store because I wanted to see it. <laughs> and I was like, you can't open it up in the store. I was like, why not? I was sitting there talking to myself, like, why can't I open it? Because there's one section of this. Yes. That I want, oh yes, right here. This moss. Yes. So my goal is I'm going to be adding. Oh, got you, Ren. I'm going to actually be adding things like this to it. See if that'll stick. Just temporary. Oh, it won't stick. I'm trying to see if I can hook it on the crack there. Yeah, like that. Not, I mean, it's going to be look better, but I mean, I'm going to actually add components to it out of this yes and that's going to give it some three dimension but I wanted to check I've, I've never worked with this particular moss before but I like it I like the fact it has these little strands right here that you can yes so I've got some sections where I can actually put these straight ends actually into the brick um, yeah hot, hot glue hot glue gun I got that I also use Mod Podge um, I like Mod Podge a lot because it, it dries clear um, and it's number one it's a little you don't get the strings that come off of hot glue gun um, but I use them both now the fun part this is going to be the fun part. So I think I am actually officially done with the, the paint. Now, probably sometime this afternoon, once I clean my mess up, and I always transfer all this stuff to gallon size Ziploc bags, you know? So much easier. So that's going to be the... Uh, and I'll post pictures on Instagram of the finished finished wall, but that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon. Um, I need to shoot a video and I need to edit a video, so um, that's pretty much the uh, afternoon plans right now. But I've got a couple of bags of that. Also got a big old bag of this one, which has got some. Uh, it's it's a little more brownish in color so I had fun see I had fun at Michael's yesterday I had fun at Michael's and that's the beauty of these kind of projects is just being able to get out and have some fun velvet woods what's up and um, be creative and build something I mean, come on it's all about building something, but I'm really digging. I'm really going to dig this. I'm, I'm digging it. And I've also got to create a solution of Mod Podge and water, uh, which if you guys don't know what Mod Podge is, it's uh, you can use it to cover anything, paper, puzzles, whatever. But, uh, I'm, I've got a solution I got to, to mix up to spray over all of this, which will keep all of this grass intact, but it dries clear. But yeah, guys, I, I don't know about you guys, but I think this thing's looking pretty freaking good. Um, tell you what, let me give you, let me get my predator. We'll use my predator figure for uh, 
for some dynamic here. Let's see if we can get him to stand up. I love predator figures, but man, they got the funkiest feet. <laughs> to, get, to get to stand up is crazy. Let me get him in a crazy pose. Get him in a. Let's get him in a. See if I can get him in a. I'm gonna kick your butt pose. I wish he had a toe a toe pivot. I think if he had a toe pivot, it'd probably be a lot easier. He's not playing right. Oh, he so wants to stand up right there. Yeah, I move that shoulder cannon like that's really going to make him stand up any better. Oh. Oh, come on. All right. So that sort of gives you... All right, Chris. I don't know. That's sort of what I'm going for. Oh, look there, and it stands up on its own. Almost. So yeah, I think this is uh I think this is gonna be a a, a nice addition to the uh to the old Dio collection. Um But I definitely need to do some more work on this. I need to seal this um, because I've got grass everywhere. <laughs> I didn't I didn't seal it the other day. No, oh, I'm just gonna sit this right here for now. Let it dry. Now the fun part. The fun part of any project. Clean up, right? That's the fun part. No, it's not. But see, that's why you get one of these really cool shop rags. They're they're like five feet long by three and a half, four feet wide. They're fin they're fender rags is what they are. And you can just sit it out. I see all of my garbage is right here. Yay! Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it an end to this stream. Um, uh, we've been going. Lord, how long have we been going now? It's been a while. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody, everybody that stuck around to uh, hang out with me on this rainy day. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of uh, content. <laughs> But I got a, so I should have a video dropping tomorrow. Make sure and check that out. Um, I will have another video coming out uh, that may or may not have to do with this diorama. I don't know yet. Don't know. But as always, guys, I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your uh, kindness and everything that you do for not only my channel, but for the community. Uh, let's keep it real. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it drama free and let's just, you know, collect toys and have fun. So until next time, uh, Tuesday night, we'll do the toy table. Um, I got to talk to Kent and Ryan. I don't know if we're going to do a three pack Tuesday. We'll see, but definitely there'll be a toy table talk on, on uh, Tuesday. I got some mail that I need to open up. You still want an answer to your question. Did I not answer? Did you ask me a question? Sorry, I hadn't been able to really follow the chat. Did you ask me in the chat or did you ask me via a text message or a Instagram message? I'm looking. There's Chris. Oh, Chris, dude, the turtles are wicked. Dude, check out that. That is wickedly cool. Dude, that is sick. <laughs> 
Is those is the windows lit? Do you have light actually? It looks like you actually have lights in there. That's wicked. Wickedly cool. That's that's yes. I love that dude. Let me look here. Chris, I apologize to you. I thought I had followed you, but I just followed you back, my friend, right there. Alright, I'm looking. Let me look. Are you talking about the the uh you talking about the group? Yeah, I mean if you it, so all right. So basically uh I'm gonna say it's they're trippy. So basically Trippy had ordered a, a ten inch target exclusive group from Amazon, but he got the regular size group. Uh he sent the regular one back, he got his money back, but uh you know, according to him, it was advertised as the 10 inch. That, I mean, I would reach out to customer service and Amazon just to ask them, hey, if you're advertising something, why didn't I get it? You know? So, I mean, that's that's the way I handle things like that. I mean, you can contact them via their contact information for service, uh, service department. Um, but, yeah. If it's something to advertise, and it could have been just a shipping mistake, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to catch up here, but yeah, I mean it's it's one of those things that, you know, it's like like my Captain America's, Captain America sugar, Captain Marvels that I got from Walmart, you know, all jacked up, but I did a return. They told me to keep the pops. They gave me my money back and. You know, I just done this with a Shumi soft protector, which to me looks awesome. So, you know, it's 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 weird. Ren, you're absolutely right. That's the one thing, Trippy. Um, check and see if it was directly from Amazon or from a third party, because unfortunately, a lot of times with third parties. It's it can be a flip of the coin. We're gonna go for thirteen more minutes. We're gonna we're gonna go to eleven thirty. That way we can talk and ask questions and stuff. That way I can get my mind right and I can think about what I want for lunch. Um But yeah, I mean it's it's one of those so alright, like if you guys watch my video about my Captain Marvels it's frustrating but I kept a smile on my face you know it happens it's a chance we take when we order online we all uh, here's the thing we all have ordered from Walmart and we all have been less than pleased with Walmart and Walgreens and Target um, that's right, Mary. Food. <laughs> um, so it's, I don't know. It's, 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 it's like the lottery in some instances. It is literally like the lottery. It's like a scratch off ticket. But you know, the thing that got me was, is I'd been out of town. I was really excited. Uh, when I saw the notification that they got delivered, and you know I was like yes you know no <laughs> Admiral Funko what's up so um yeah I gotta put this bad boy I had to put this bad boy in a shoot me protector my captain Marvel Jacks but yeah, all joking aside though, if you've got pops that boxes are jacked up, or if you see a pop out in the store like Second and Charles, which I wish I had one, but I don't. But let's say, for instance, um, I saw a pop over the weekend. Um, oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh my goodness, I forgot. I already had it, but it's a cool pop. But the box was really jacked. I mean, really jacked up. But let's say, for instance, you really wanted to pop and you didn't really care 
for the box, but you want to display it like in a box. Right here, Shumi soft protectors. If it has a back card in it, take the back card out, put it behind it. And this actually displays very well. Um, I mean, uh, that tip, when I saw Nia do that, I mean, I, I fell in love with this right here. I, I love that idea. And it's just one of those things that if you've got, I mean, why not? Oh, yeah, Robert is hands down the best protector in the game. Hands down. Yeah, uh, Ryan, I've actually I've actually looked at some of your stuff before. You're you you do some good work. You really do some good you good you do some really good photography with your action figures. Really good. I've been following you. That's right. We still need to next time I'm up in the Knoxville area, we're gonna we're gonna meet up. Um, and man. Oh wow. Full toy collection show. Nice. But yeah, this is definitely I think honestly, if you had to ask me what the best ideal of twenty eighteen was, I would have to give it to Nia for this. To me, that's the best ideal for displaying a Funko Pop in twenty eighteen. And the only reason I say 2018 is because that's really when I got into them. I mean, that's that's just smart. It's clean. It's smart. Dude, no, seriously. I, I mean it, Ren. You, you, do some, you do some good stuff. You do some really good stuff. There's one that, let me see if I can pull it up here. Let me see if I can get it. It's one of, it's one of your latest ones. But I, I I love this one. Oh, we're picking the wrong one. I wish I could make it bigger, but I really dig that one. That's a cool photo. Everybody, check out Night of Ren seven eighty nine on Instagram. Give him some love. That was really cool too. I mean, there's so many talented people out there. Uh, it's, it's insane the amount of talent there is in the, uh, toy photography world. The creativity, uh, that people have. It's another one of Rams right there. Look at that. I mean, what are you using for a backdrop on that one? Cause I, I'm, I'm curious cause I was going to tell you something. Um, I did, I did a photo where um, I took a, a high resolution photo and put it, pulled it off the inter, interweb, had it on my laptop display screen, and I actually shot a photo using my laptop screen as a backdrop. Ray, I mean, don't, don't, even put, don't even put yourself down like that, man. It's, that's, no, you be proud. You be proud of, of the work you do. Um, my work is no, I'm telling you right now, my work is no better than what I see people throw out there. Ren, I'm serious. I wish, I wish, I wish I could find the photo. Uh, so I took a picture of it. It's on my phone, but I got like 6,000 photos on my phone. Um, it's all about your perspective. Um, uh, Gassel cast, you know, a lot of their photos they do. I just, I love them. They're, just, they're so creative and that's the thing just you know the way people I enjoy the way people's minds are when they're because I sort of want to like man I wish I could crawl inside their head when they're thinking about this this concept that's the part that that intrigues me it's not about you know breaking out this setup and blah 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 it's about what was your thought process when you took this photo how did you come up with this ideal that's the part that intrigues me. See, see, I knew it, Ren. I knew it. Because that's the first thing I saw, thought of when I saw that was that picture I took with my laptop screen. <laughs> Nick Adams, what's up? 
Uh, as soon as I saw that, it's the first thing popped in my head. I was like, I wonder if that was done with, like with a laptop screen or a. But see, that shows the creativity that you can come up with just doing something like that. Everyday items you can come up with and have some wonderful photos. Well, yeah, it does help, Ren. <laughs> Yeah, video production. That's the uh, that's the 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 shiznit. Oh my goodness! Well, guys, this has been real. Chris, that's that's good. I, a lot of times, I forget to do that. I really do. I'll be like, I'll be so excited though on Instagram. I just like put some lame butt comment there. Oh, look at this photo I took. Then later on, I'm like, oh, man, because it's like when I create something and it just hits, I get so excited to throw it out there. A lot of times I forget to do that. So, oh. trippy no man. I'm telling you guys, be proud of the work. I don't, here's the thing. I don't care if it's Instagram, Facebook, or like I call it, butt face, um, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Be proud of everything you throw out there. Are they going to be haters? Yes. No big deal. Are you going to have good and bad? Yes. That's okay. Be proud of it. I mean, I literally, I keep every, every photo, like I do not delete photos at all I do not delete any photo good or bad I keep them because sorry guys I got I think I got moss in my eyeballs um because you always learn something from the worst one you took the same way with video it's the same way with anything you learn from it but you have to be you have to be that first person to criticize yourself don't wait for somebody else to do it. You have, I'm my own worst critic. My own worst. There's no one on this planet can tell me I suck more than I do. No one. Because when I do something and it sucks, you don't got to tell me because I'll tell you right then and there it, it sucks. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, it's about 11.30 and... Uh, I'm going to go grab some lunch. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this live stream. Uh, again, it was just, uh, I wanted to get it. I knew I was going to be doing this. I figured, what the heck? Let's just bring you guys to the toy table and we'd share this moment together. But, uh, hope y'all have a great rest of the day. I hope that tomorrow, the first day of the week is a great first day of the week. That way the rest of the week will be great. But until next time, guys, I'm Greg. This is the Toy Table, and I'll see you later. <laughs>